guys, we're back with Tosca. So remember, Tosca is the deaf Great Dane, and she did get a home. She's going to be going to Mississippi, so go add me on, on Facebook, if you remember. And we're just going to give her a little run for it. Actually, got a special page so that we could start taking her out, because we haven't really been able to take her anywhere, uh, because we didn't have a, anything to put her in the van, and she's kind of wild in there. So I don't know, girl, we better get like a divider to put in that SUV, because she tries to get in the front seat a lot. Anyway, we're just using Molly for distraction. I do have my sound box on, so remember, my pager is the replacement for the verbal command, and really body English is going to be important with the deaf dog. It's important anyway, but when they're counting on that, it's it's very, very important. So, I'm going to have my remote in my hand, and we're actually getting ready to do a uh, video about the remotes called Size Matters, but not the way you think. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to start my pager slightly before. She's very distracted by Molly. Start my pager slightly before. one to crazy molly and that's really the beauty of this is it is the same when if we've done it right there's no difference between the leash being there and the leash not being there so we're using the pager to communicate so this is really actually no different than we do with any normal dog and these people that say well we use the lowest level stimulus, not us. It's honestly, to me, that's a ridiculous thing. 20 years from now, they'll look back and say, what was wrong with those people? Anyway, so same thing. I'm going to start my pager slightly before, and I'm still, you know, aware of my body language. I don't want my arms just flapping around. And you guys don't do that. So anyway, so I can start out if I don't have her attention. If I do have her attention, then I want to show her the hand is empty.
Oh, goodness. Well, I did soon.